Pump Patrol, if you're looking for a shave gel that goes on pretty easily, glides across, stays liquidy, lubricatingly smooth as you shave, you might want to consider this product. Here is what the actual packaging looks like. This is Pump Patrol. This is the tube, right? New look, same great formula. Very nice marketing. I love the blue, the light blue, the white, and the black colors in there. Very nice. Here's what the tube looks like if you want to see, right? So there's your cool shave gel. It doesn't have much of a scent to it. Like I'm smelling, it, it does smell kind of like a nice, refreshing, cool breeze. You know, if that if I could put that into words, that, that's kind of what it smells like. But it's not overpowering or anything. It's not strong. It's just basically uh, the performance of the gel is really what you're after right there. But that's basically what it looks like when you first put it on. And then the white part was after you rub it in and you want to get a little bit of that foaming action to see where you've actually shaved across your face. So the way I would do it is, is go ahead and put the product on and then rub it around with your hands. Uh, if you want to go the extra mile and do the three-step process, here's what you would do. You would do your face wash first with activated charcoal just to kind of clean off any debris that's on your face right from, let's say you're a motorcycle rider, bicycle rider, you kind of get the idea. You would just kind of clean all that stuff off. Let's say you've been out and about, right? You've been working out and you want to shave after your workout. This would be a great idea to get all that oil off, that sweat off. You get the idea to so wash your face. Then you would go ahead and use the cool gel, right? Uh, which is basically this right here. So you got your cool gel and then basically you would do your aftershave, right? And then it's actually a four-step process. If you want to moisturize, you can moisturize after that. So that would be the full system. You could just use this and get away with this and you'd be totally fine. If you only want to use the face wash, that's fine too. Or you only want to use the aftershave or you only want to use the moisturizer. I kind of like all four. <laughs> I'm going to be using all four. But the focus of this video really was the Bump Patrol, the cool shave gel. So let's talk about this. Here's what the backside of water looks like. Here's your logo and your branding and all that good stuff. Note to self, start fresh, successful. Helps prevent razor bumps, ingrown hairs, right? Stops, nicks, and scrapes. Let's face it. Razors are one of those things. Either you're a fanatic with your razors and you buy the fancy schmancy ones or you buy the cheap Costco ones. I tend to buy the cheap Costco ones, right? Sometimes on occasion, I'll go with like the Gillette Mach 3, like that kind of vibe. Like if, I, if I'm in the mood for it, if I have the money for it, whatever. But if you're going to be using like a, let's say a less expensive razor, right? Like those cheapy use once toss away, which most people use five times, right? Come on, nod your head. You know what I'm talking about. This might help you just get a little extra better shave and performance from those less expensive razors. Just saying, just saying, this is from personal experience, but anyways, gives you better control for detailing. There you go. Splash on some warm water, lather with your fingertips. Uh, or shave with a brush, you know, you get the idea, shave, rinse, you get the idea, partner, favorite bump patrol after shave, which is what we talked about earlier. And then basically there's your complete line of grooming products, shaving, dermatologist, 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 dermatologist approved, barber recommended to get the idea. There's the ingredients. If you want to see what's in there, maybe you're allergic to something or you're not allergic to something. I have to say this is pretty like pretty refreshing just having this on my skin right now. This is probably the longest I've kept this on because usually when I apply it, I shave right away. But actually it does feel pretty good. It's like a, it's like a cooling kind of a, of a cooling feeling. And like I said, there is some fragrance in there, but it's not overpowering or strong in any way. It smells like your typical icy blue kind of scent, you know, if that's the best way to describe it. And then uh, there's water in there, obviously. There's uh, sodium laureth sulfate, which is great. That's like the better of those laureth sulfate things that you can, you know, you get the idea. Uh, there's all that stuff cleaning, right? I'm imagining the acid, the sorbitol, the hydro, the, yeah, we, I can't even pronounce half of these, but the glycol in there is basically to help to keep it cool. And the menthol gives you that cooling, you know, freshness, freshness kind of a feeling. So there you go. There's M&M Products Company, Marietta, Georgia. Great state, great state of Georgia. I went once, ha had a blast, had an absolute blast in the state of Georgia. Uh, there you go. So patrolgrooming.com, there's your social media and all that good stuff. There's some toll-free numbers if you want to call them in the U.S. or the U.K. Made in Canada. How many products can say that, that they're made in Canada? Isn't that amazing? There you go. Patrol, more than skin. There's your barcode. There's all that stuff. Here's the warning. Keep out of reach of children, obviously. Uh, it's also written in French and it's written in Spanish. Is that right? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. Cool shave gel. Basically, when you do get it, you do want to open this whole cap up. This unscrews. You pull back that little, uh, you know, 
shipping packaging tab, like that little piece of foil. Then to actually use the product, you pop the lid open. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Pop the lid open and then squeeze and squirt from there and you kind of get the idea. Uh, and as mentioned before, basically that's what it looks like when you first put it on is like that little gel. And then as you foam it around, right, move it around with your hands on a wet surface, it gets white. And that way you can actually see what you're shaving, where you're shaving. Uh, sometimes what I do is this is kind of like a barber strip because I will keep some on my either on my forearm or on my wrist or my hand so that if I need to reapply, right, I don't have to go back to the tube with messy hands. I can just take it straight off of this hand, reapply it to an area of my face that needs to be like shaved over twice like sometimes the chin area underneath the nose, right around the sideburns, you get the idea, just so it's easily accessible and I don't have to reach for this tube with, you know, messy hands and then try to squeeze. Anyways, you get the idea. With that being said, there's the tube. There's some other of the products that they do make. I will put a link down below in the description section. If you're curious about measurements, because I know everybody wants to see that, uh, that's basically where you sit at. It's somewhere around like seven inches or so, seven and a half inches. So it doesn't take up that much room in your counter, your counter space. And then in terms of diameter, what is that? Like an inch and a quarter, maybe somewhere around there. Yeah, like an inch and a quarter. Anyways, I will put links down below in the description section. Make sure to check those out. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you like what you're seeing. I'm Neil Coot and I will catch you all in the next exciting video.